So, so how's it like being part of the Oceanian Leadership Network? It's good, actually, because I get to help a lot of people, which is nice. I like helping people. Mm. Yeah, it's it, it's going to be strange yeah? seeing you in your uni prep black top. I might not be doing uni prep. Okay. Yeah. We have several initiatives. Anyway, this is the As Yet Undecided podcast with your... Organic hosts, Mike, Mike and Sophie. Sophie. <laughs> Mike and Sophie, yeah. Um, this is a runoff from the previous podcast, so um, I think I know how you're feeling. Yeah. You're feeling gouty. Feeling gouty. Still gouty. Yeah. Anyway, I have a few surprises for you. Oh, no. S- surprise no one. What? What is that? It's a, it's a scarf, a cotton scarf. It's very soft, very nice. It's purple. It's your favourite colour. I know you don't wear scarves, but I thought you might like it as decoration or something. Well, well y- you know, you know we, 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 we've had this talk. That, you know, you know, when we went glasses shopping. Yeah. That you said, well, if you're going to wear hipster glasses, then you're going to wear a scarf. Did I say that? Yes, you did. I thought I said if you're going to wear um, Oakley glasses, you need to lose weight. No, no, no. No, no. I'm talking about when we went to Specsavers. Oh, I see. Is it, if you're going to wear hipster glasses... You have to be a hipster. You have to be a hipster, which includes wearing a scarf. Okay, try it on. This is made of cotton, I think. It's the softest thi- It's the softest scarf ever. And I'm like, oh, this is so nice. Do you like it? I mean, I don't think you'll wear it because you're, because it's um, too warm for you, but... You like it? How does it look on me? Like I have to lose 20 pounds, <laughs> like every other in- in- inclusion of additional clothing on my body? You look as a you look like a priest. Okay. You know the priest they have like the scarf that goes over their... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Looks I, like I, one of those. I know exactly what you're on about there. Yeah, you you look like a priest. Considering that I have been an altar boy in my previous life. Really? Yeah. For a wedding? When I went to a Catholic school. Oh really? And had to go to church three times a week. Oh man. Yeah. Okay, did you, did you sing in the choir? No. We didn't have enough people for a choir. Is this really that small? Oh, yeah. The roll was like 30. Did you at least have enough for barbershop quartet? No. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, praise the Lord! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, 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 we couldn't even get four males to do a barbershop quartet. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, do you like the scarf or? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's not comfortable for you to wear it, so I know to just don't wear it if you don't want to. But it's good, but make it a nice decoration, you know. Just hang it on the, drape it on the fire hose or something. Drape it on the fire hose. Yeah. It, it, it is the next single from our new band. Yeah. <laughs> As you undecided. No, 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 no. Oh. What was the name of the band that we decided during quiz night? What was it called? Can't remember. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Like, um, On Point or Flat, or Flat Stanley or something rather? Yeah, well, yeah, well, the, well, the current one that I have for a band is Drops from Trees. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, second surprise. Second surprise. Okay, um, I've been on a quest now to find a chocolate... That is better than the five rolled thingy from Whitakers. Okay. So, again, this is another purple chocolate. Another? What's with you and purple in this podcast? We like purple. I know I like purple. So, yeah. the Remarkable Chocolate Company, I believe they're from um, the South Island somewhere. Uh, yeah, well, they... No, wait. Th- this is worse. It's from Wellington. Uh, Remarkable Chocolate Company, 77A Owens Road, Epsom. <laughs> Just down the road. Just down the road for me. So, Remarkable Chocolate Company, um, handcrafted with love. Okay. Mark but, and Ella, and so so the owners introduced introduce themselves. You know, this is this is super pretentious then. Yes. So the owners introduced themselves on the packaging. <laughs> Ingredient, but um, thank goodness it's um not organic. It's not organic. Surprisingly, it's not organic, even though it's from um 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 Ferris. 
Uh, ingredients: milk chocolate. Okay. Uh, butter, oil, emulsifiers. Contains soy and milk, of course. Contains no palm oil. Okay. That's okay. Okay, so that's what do we have here? Oh, is that how you open it? Great. How do you open this thing? Do 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 do. So once again, it's strangely paper. It's paper packaging, not foil. And this is milk chocolate. So let's see if this better. This is better than the five times roll thing. And once again, we also have weird chocolate shapes. Now, what do you think about the Kickstarter um, at the moment for the current Dunedin? Oh, buy the buying the chocolate factory. Yeah. I'm thinking about contributing. Okay. Free chocolate for... No. Reduce chocolate for life. Reduce price chocolate for life. Hmm. This is good. Yeah. Do you think this is better or worse than Whitaker's? Wow. Okay. I like this. This is genuinely good chocolate. Wow. I, I I can't pick it. I can't pick it. You like the winners still? Better over this? No, no. I can't pick a winner mm. of that versus winning because I can't pick it. This is delicious. Wow. This thing must have won me over milk. I still prefer dark chocolate, but oh, milk chocolate. This is awesome. Now, uh, has your chocolate from Pharaoh's been restored? Yeah, I just know, I just know not to get the coconut stuff. So. Yeah. It's as sweet as. Yeah. Are Are you going to contribute to this to the um, Kickstarter too? No, of course not. Why not? I am far too poor. Okay. I'm surprised I'm not. I, I'm not walking down Queen Street with a paper cap shaking what coins I have in it. <laughs> Which is nothing. Yeah. So. Oh wow. <laughs> I I have a huge issue that we need to talk about. Oh. This is an this is an AET issue. Oh. Hmm. Now, an ex person of the Oceanian. Leadership Network. Yeah. She won um, the awesome presidency. I talked to her today. Did you? Mm. She told me about it. She told me. Okay, so you know the situation. I know the situation more. I know the situation more than you think. I more they think. I know the situation better than what you think. I know. Okay. I was talking to her about it today, actually. So, f f from what I know... Yeah? From what I know... I'm surprised you still get news about that. Oh, yeah. Well, I get news on it. Mm-hmm. She... The, the, the Board of Governance... Yeah. Which is made out of six people... Yes. Has decided mm -hmm. that because of her previous conviction... Which was, by the way... She, Ages ago, and so they had no right to know about it. They wanted to kick her. They they basically kicked her out, didn't they? Yes. Okay. And so I told her that she should actually um, go to the um, Citizens Advice Bureau because I believe she could probably book them and take them to court over two over two things in the civil law. Um, so one of them would be the um, right of privacy. The right to privacy that yes. would be under law of torts. That's that's a major thing because a they didn't have a right to know about that conviction. B's, yeah, and B, I I I told her that um if for good measure she may as well throw in discrimination. Yeah, yeah, for good measure. So I told her to so yeah um hopefully um it get, all gets resolved and she gets reinstated back next year or um she gets a hefty payout. I don't know. Yeah. But isn't that isn't that all good situation? Yes, it is a very awkward situation. And finally, for once, I'm part of the news. <coughs> I usually only hear about these things, and now I'm just part of it. I know what happened. Yes. 
So, so does the story that I know is is exactly what you know? No. I, I don't think we'll actually ever know what we know because it's like, A, it's a sensitive topic. We don't really want to expose who it is. And B, you probably know what the conviction was anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I did ask about the conviction. I told her that, you know, it's, who cares? Yeah. I mean, I mean, she's a, she's not obviously a good person these days. So I was like, ugh. The past conviction is probably for speeding or something. Yeah. Who cares? Would you like some more chocolate? Yes, please. This is good. Here's one. I'm going to make this my last piece. So, and then that, 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 you know, that discussion. Mm. <coughs> um, brings up a good point that, where, where do you draw the line mm. between being the head of being the president of an organization mm. but still attracting enough members to be part of it what do you mean like for example the volunteer numbers has gone down significantly over the last two years yeah why I don't, well because um, they have allocated more funds towards clubs yeah. than volunteers. Yeah. And so volunteering num- num- hours have been reducing? What's no, 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 because um, it's very complicated mm-hmm. um, because you, you want... Because, because AUT have brought in the... Uh, what award is it? The... Easy Edge. Yeah, Edge. And for that, you have to get 200 hours of volunteer work over the lifetime of your degree. Yep. See, I know this. I know this. Um, which has risen numbers towards that award. Yeah. But they are not being transformative towards the awesome organisation. Yeah. Um, also, with the free fee- the free feeds. Yes. Now they are charging. I told I um we recently had a survey on what you want back on the, on the experience as an AUT student. I immediately wrote down to please bring back the free feeds. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's not beneficial for me because I always take food anyway. I'm rich enough to do that. Yeah. It's for students like you. Yeah. Who actually rely on me to bring in like food, say chocolates, <laughs> and you have baker's friends, and I mean, that's that's why you're guilty eating your food. Okay, you don't have any food, and I have all the food in the world in my pantry. Yeah, but considering that the amount of times that you've brought me food and in the Sistema boxes, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So I can take some of your food because I bring some food to you. Yeah. Is that how it works? Is that how friendship works? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that, that's the way this that... This is new. The, the, this is the way that my friendship works. Yeah? Like, oh, we share food? Yeah. Okay. That's, what, that's the reason why I don't mind it. Okay. Um, and, and because... Me, of, and this is, me and System of Boxes, is that, is that like a meme now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You and System of Boxes is a meme. Yeah, okay. I'm actually surprised there isn't a picture of you with a Sistema on your head, <laughs> using it as a hat. Yeah. No, I have yes to go for that. So as you were saying, sorry. Um, and the amount of people going into events mm-hmm. has significantly decreased. Yeah. It could be a, um, a change mm-hmm. on, on the student body as a whole. Mm-hmm. Because they'll be more concentrated on the syllabus rather than going out to events. Yeah. Plus, with the increased cost of living, yeah. More than likely, that one they can't afford. We can't afford to go out. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And prob- and and because of that, yeah. lack of spending for going out to events. And there's also a few other factors too. For example, um. 
Um, so I was talking about this the other day, and um, to a few of my few of my fellow classmates, and they say they've got friends who are down in Waikato and Dunedin who go out partying three night three nights a week. Yeah, and uh, they say that. They can't do it in Auckland, not even once a week, because a club prices are too expensive, entry fees are too expensive, and number, and two, and the people there are a bit creepy. The older oh, yeah. the older men there are a bit creepy. Yeah. They think that they see oh, they see a young woman as you know a potential side woman, a potential mistress, yeah. a potential vagina to knock up. <laughs> they don't see them as people like university students. They see them as uh, sex. <laughs> I, I just think it's kind of funny that you just said, you, you know, you know, and I'm paraphrasing here, knocked up vagina. Vagina to knock up. Vagina to knock up. That's what I said. No, I, no they don't like knocked up vagina. They prefer virgins. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, and I admit, as a guy, yeah, yeah they're pretty creepy. Yeah. <laughs> as, a, as a guy, yeah. yeah, the pretty creepy. I mean, honestly, yeah, we're talking about men who treat women as walking vaginas. Yes, you, you, you know the Auckland Weinstein's of the Auckland Weinstein's <laughs> all converge in the nightclubs, and that's why we Auckland university students don't go to nightclubs anymore. Yeah, well, like yeah, but yeah, yeah, because we'll be treated like prostitutes. And like I mean, no, unpaid prostitutes. We'll be basically made into sex slaves. Prostitutes at least get paid, you know, for the job. We won't. We'll be made into sex slaves. That's why we don't go anymore. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, but then, I, uh, well, I would recommend that, one, yeah. make it during the, early, the earlier hours. Yeah. And make it more academically minded I see so have a club on site at uni yeah like, you know, or an event yeah oh like an event okay yeah that is academically minded while at uni let me tell you something creepy <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 let's be all minecraft and let's bring the creeper out yes <laughs> <laughs> Well, here's the thing, though, right? So I'm an a I'm a young Asian woman, and somehow that makes me even more attractive. My Asianness. They think that oh, yeah, 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 like yeah, okay, somehow my Asianness makes them more attractive because they think that I'm like more, uh, more feeble, much more uh nice, uh, complacent, soft. Would do anything the man would want. Yeah. Um. The, and that's like what? Can you link to the? Anna video of why white men, white men think that Asian, Asian women, women are more attractive. Yeah. I've never heard of that before, so you please link it to me first. Yeah. That's anyway, fine. it's damn creepy. And the number of rich white men I've seen with like a young Asian woman draped around their arms is like, did you, like, why? Like, do you uh, see us as sex slaves or just, oh yeah, you see us walking vaginas. Walking, that makes, yeah, that yeah. makes more sense. Walking vaginas. Now, 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 the, the, this is another topic of discussion that I want to bring up. Yeah. Should there be a Tinder? Yeah. That instead of a picture, mm. they should just have their account balance on there. What's that? Golda or Rinda? Or yeah. Rich, rich people. Rinda. Yeah. Or what? another name for it. Uh... Digda. Digda. Yeah. <laughs> you go with Digda because there is a AUT student that is yeah. getting married. Yeah. To Kim dot com. Yeah. And it, you know it just makes me think. What an AUT student? Like why? 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 An AUT law student. I s who's? I thought he's. I thought he was romantically involved with a supermodel. No. What? Why? No. Law student. Yeah. About to graduate or graduated? Um, yeah, about to graduate. It's marionkin.com. Yeah. At least she won't need to worry about student loans anymore. <laughs> Actually, maybe, no, maybe she has to worry about it even more because kim.com's uh, broke as anything. Well, considering that... Yes, he, he has his funds frozen. But, yeah, plus considering that he got a settlement from the New Zealand police a couple of months back. Oh, anyway, uh... 
80 law students. How old is she? Early 20s. How old is he? He's in his 50s. Lovely jubbly. Yeah. For, like a heart, like like double his, her age. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Doesn't he already have twins from a previous marriage? Probably. Oh, crap. This whole thing just reeks. Oh, yeah. Sugar daddy. And when is she, when is she going to bump him off? Probably when he gets extradited. Oh, so she's going to get all his money when he gets extradited. Probably. Smart move. Yeah, I know. Mm. Okay, what else? Uh, wait, you see that um, gold digger? <laughs> digger. Digger. Is, isn't that sugardaddy.com? Pretty much. That's, is that really have a digger? It's called <laughs> sugardaddy.com. Yeah, um, I wanted to link to that website because it's absolutely disgusting, so. <laughs> anyway, anyway um, is it possible for a boy to be a sugar babe? Well, yeah, well, like, um, like, a, like an Andronus or something, rather? Or This is probably the bad part of gender equality. What? Surely pretty young boys can be, can be sugar babes. Yeah. You know, to either cougars or gay rich guys. Yeah, but, you, you, know, you know, it's not as much money. Really? Why is that? Because of gender equality. Wait, so the, you're saying that the <laughs> only... So you're saying that the only place a woman is paid more than men, on average, is surrounding the sex, the sex and the escort industry? Yes. I... Ah, uh, okay. Hey, guys, um... Shall we bring in some sugar, some sugar babe, male sugar babes? Like, surely, surely there are men who have enough to be sugar babes. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Let's go Pretty back. enough. Let's go back, and because because I have a photo of of that student. Yeah. I like, would I recognize her? I, I'm just waiting to, waiting for you to find out. Damn, would, I would recognize her. What? Who's she? I'm just trying to remember. She does look familiar. How did she manage to attract Kim.com in the first place? Who How knows? did they meet? I don't know. White privilege. I don't know. Maybe they move in the same circles. Then in which case I'm worried. How can we have an 80 law student who meant... Does she not have any pride? Well, be, well, you know, you know. You, you, you said... Yeah? You, you, you said, um, nice move. Nice move. When when you said yeah. that, you know, when he gets extradited, she'll get the money. money. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you have to admit that... She's the clever one. Yeah. Yeah. So like, but how does she manage to do it? I just don't get it still. Interchange money for pride. Wow. This is the kind of world that we live in now. Uh, I still can't believe Kim Dockle's getting married again. I still can't believe I might I may have met the bride of Kim dot com. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> hey Mike, do you think I'm a good fit for being a law and business student? Because by the looks of things, in order to pass, I need to become more corrupt. <coughs> I'm starting to get that feeling. <laughs> should I become more corrupt, Mike? I'm, I'm screwed. I I probably, I probably should be getting. A rich has. I should probably should become a sugar babe by now. Maybe that's the way I could become a law and business student, a more proper law and business student. Well, 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 well. Let's just say that you may be yeah be able to go to the cafe on top of the PwC building. Yeah. If you were a sugar daddy. Mm. <laughs> like this is like this is ridiculous. I. Because really how moral and honest I am, I should be doing a sociology paper. You should. I should be doing a sociology paper. Yeah. Not a law and business paper in which you learn how to cheat, lie, and... Considering that more, more than likely, yeah. not next year, the year after, you, yeah. will be, you will be doing a sociology paper. Oh, okay. How? International relations. Oh, yes, true. But still, Mike, am I poor fit for being a law and business student? Should I become more corrupt? No. Do you think people like do you think people like me should become lawyers and Yeah. 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 Maybe maybe because they need be, maybe the fact that your typical stereotypical lawyer is a lying, cheating bastard means that I should become a lawyer to actually counteract that. 
<laughs> I, I, I was thinking that you were going to say that you were going to be a lawyer so you can be a lady cheating bastard. <laughs> Mike, am I going to become a lying cheating bastard? Well, we'll find out. Oh, I'm well, you're obviously worried about that. <laughs> we'll find out. I don't want to be a bastard. We'll find out in due, to, in due course. What well, if I do become a lying cheating bastard? What would you do then? You would have lost your only friend. <laughs> I, I, I'll have to cuddle the other two friends. <laughs> the ones behind you. Behind me? Yeah. Who are they? Tesla and... <laughs> Tesla and Francis. <laughs> you guys are lose all your friends if I become a bastard. <laughs> oh, I hope I don't do that to you, Mike, honestly. That's okay. Don't worry about it. You don't think I will become one? We'll find out. Damn! Oh, I hope I don't. I don't think I will, but... You never know, things change. Yes. Ugh. Last night I, I had a dream that I was randomly engaged to somebody. By not, bec not because I wanted to, but because I was forced to become one. But somehow that engagement never came through because um, I... Because with the engagement there was actually a condition that the person must uh, do some challenges. And he never quite finished the challenges. Do some challenges? Yeah, like he had to do some tasks. Like Hercules. Oh, okay. He had to do some tasks like Hercules. He wants to get married to me, but I don't want to get married to him, so I sent him some challenges, and he couldn't <clears> finish those challenges. And therefore, I managed to get out of that marriage, which was cool. So, okay, so like, what you did is you signed a prenup. Yep. Say, <laughs> say that if you don't do these things, I will never get married, and he never did them because it was impossible, and I never got married to him. <laughs> which was lovely. That's hilarious. What? So, sign in a prenup is that you have to lift 350 pound deadlifts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to, I can't remember what, exactly what challenges I set him, but they were pretty damn near impossible, so. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. Well, so, yeah, that's how I managed to get out of a marriage that I imagined in my head. Yeah. Yeah. Don't show what a person I am, I suppose. I'm not ready to get married yet. No. No. It's fine. Don't. How do you know when you're in love, Mike? I, I, I would like to say from my experience, yeah. but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know either. I don't know. We'll know one day. Like, like, I, like, I've been in relationships and even I don't know. Oh, damn. I'll ask, I'll ask Dad one day. <laughs> oh, I... Oh, was it? Yeah. My, my, my previous status... Yeah. ...was... Verbatim, and I quote, Mar as a kid, I always thought that marriage was all about love and support. Yeah. Now it's about pity, being annoying, and seeing which one dies first. That's your parents. <laughs> they're not in a proper... <laughs> Mike, they're not in a proper marriage. <laughs> they're just in a relationship just to keep the household together. Aren't you? I'm not even too sure why they're still together. The kids are all grown up. They have... Coop they have... What's what's the Maori word for grandkids? What's the Maori word for grandkids? Mopuna. They have Mopuna now! They don't need to be together anymore! I don't care why they're still together though! They hate each other's guts! I swear to God, one of them will kill the other one the other day! Soon! I swear that one of them will kill the other! And that's almost happened! Now, yeah, well... Yeah. <laughs> I still don't care why they're still married! They're, still, they're trying to kill each other at this moment! Let's get to that stage now! They're yep. not Catholic! Yep. So, like, yeah, they're just waiting for the life insurance policy to come through. How long How long will that take? I don't know, someone has to die first. Well, why don't you just kill another the person then? <laughs> Honestly, they almost killed each other a few times already. Why did, you, why did you just finish the job? Because I don't want to get a chair. No, why, no, why don't they finish the job? Why don't they just finish the job? Honestly. Because I probably don't want to get a chair. What? There's several ways you can kill people without going to jail, you know that? Yeah. You just don't need to get caught. You just, you, just need, you just need to make sure you don't get caught. I already told you I could kill you with a kombucha. Well, clearly it didn't work. I, that's because I didn't plan to kill you. <laughs> look at <laughs> Mike, you're my bro. Why would I want to kill you? I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I'm assuming that out of all the friends that I currently have, I probably know of at least three that want to kill me. 
Who? I don't know. Not me, right? No, but you, you, you know, you know, just thinking out of the the odds possibility. Do you have your friends are serial killers? No, no. <laughs> You're not a serial killer until you kill more than one person. And with a space in between. Yeah. So the definition for serial killer is that you kill at least two people, and in between those two, you actually have a breathing space. So that's the difference, and that's the difference between a serial killer and a mass murderer. Yeah. Why well, don't know this? Because <laughs> you are an inquisitive mind. And I like murder. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's the reason why your favourite board game is Clue. No. <laughs> yeah. So, do you think your parents will kill each other one day? Well, you, you know, one of them will die. Yeah. Oh, well, both of them will die eventually. Wait, how old are they? They're in their 50s. And what's the life expectancy of a Māori? <laughs> now, well, we are hitting... We were almost hitting the gap between when my grandmother died and when my grandfather died. Yeah. Grandmother died at 62. Yeah. Grandfather died at 82. Yeah. So, Dad's 55. He might die in his mid-60s. More than likely. Yeah, okay. More and your mum? She's European, so that kind of screws things up a bit. Yeah, but considering that the amount, you, you, you know... My, my my mother and my grandmother. Yeah. You, you know their life experience in regards to doing everything. Yeah. And how it affected their way of living, their quality of life. Yeah. Yeah. Why did your parents get married? I don't know. Even I don't know now. Uh, yeah. At least I know why Mum and Min got married. Because, like, you know... It's not a pleasant reason, but at least I know why. But considering that, you know, mum was 16 and dad was 18. My mum was pregnant, wasn't she? No. Oh. They were married before they had me. Uh, For about 18 months before they had me? Probably because of young love. Yeah, yeah, whatever that is. Puppy love. And that just turned into hate. Yeah. That's probably a really good reason why not to get married until you're like in your late twenties, because at least you, at least you know your feelings are not fleeting anymore. Yes, and and since you've lived enough life, it it will transfer to your kids a lot better. Yeah. Because you you'd be a lot more educated at twenty two than you would be at sixteen. Yeah. I'm twenty, Mike, but I don't think. Do you think I'll ever be ready for a relationship? Well, no one technically really is. Until they had one. Yeah. You're not ready until you have it, until you are in the middle of a relationship. And suddenly one day, oh yeah, I'm ready now for a proper relationship. Yeah. By then it's probably too late. Yeah. Mm. That's crazy. That is crazy. It's almost as if you actually, oh yeah, you're not ready to have a baby until you're in the middle of your pregnancy. It's the same thing with human bodies too. Yeah. You're not ready to have a baby until you're in the, yeah, so. Oh man, this is getting deep. Yeah, I know. So, so yeah, I, was it? Oh, what's his name? Um, yeah, like because of the life that I lead, lead at the moment. Yeah. I'm pretty close to Socrates. Yeah. I'm pretty close. No. <laughs> Even though uh, he really. Like, no, no, I don't think it's Socrates. I think you're leaning more towards Diogenes. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. lives in a barrel. He lived in a barrel for goodness' sake. He, <laughs> Yeah, that's you. He, the barrel, the barrel liver, barrel, barrel dweller. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you'll ever be in a relationship again, Mike? Hey. Eh? Do you think you'll ever be in a relationship again? Well, uh, it's it, it's going to be tricky, and, and because of of trying to be in that social norm. Yeah. That's the part that annoys me the most. Yeah. That why do I have to fit into a social norm in order to have a relationship? You need like a unusual Tinder for you. So, Tinder, <laughs> what would Tinder for eccentrics be called? Eccentra? Eccentra, yeah. We need to develop a, like, a eccentra or something rather. Like Tinder for people who don't quite fit the social norm. Because there's a lot of us out there, we just don't meet each other all that often. Yeah, but, yeah, it's... Like... Like... T Tinder is for hookups with, with pretty people. Yeah. 
Um, hey, why don't you why don't you go and meet some mathematicians then? You might meet some pretty smart <laughs> young women. No, but the still the, the social norms still apply. Which is that I, that you know I have to be skinny. In my case. Oh yeah. The the last relationship that I was in. Yeah. I was skinny. Yeah. So like the whole fact is that why do I have to be skinny? That's the part that always confused me. Well, there's just tons of fat people, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there'll be tons of fat people, Mike. Fit do? Fit do? Maybe. Or, or I'll, I'll just go outside of the of the Gucci office and be a bodyguard. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that could work. <laughs> that could work. Yeah. And I'm not too sure if the Gucci man, if the Gucci body... I'm not sure if the Gucci guard ever waved back at me now. <laughs> do you think he ever waved? To, do you think he ever waved to anyone? No. no. Secret life of a Gucci man. Secret life of a Gucci man. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and on that serious note, and with half of chocolate block still remaining, will we'll we ever find love? We. I don't know what love is. And no one will show me. And that will be the end of the podcast. Head away. <laughs> Baby, don't hurt me no more. Can contact me at the Marnus, T-H-E-M-A-R-N-U-S. Yeah. Or you can contact Sophie. Who's oh. crying in the breast. I think it's the chocolate. Well, in fact, I'm so tired. Like, I do usually don't get so serious about these things. Like, it's like, will we ever find love? Oh. You, you, you can contact... I feel sappy! <laughs> you, 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 Help me! <laughs> you, you can look up her username on Water Vapor Sophie 9709 You can contact the podcast at AYU Podcast or um, as yet undecided at gmail.com. Yeah. And have a good week while we finish the rest of this chocolate. And so then Sophie just cried tears out. <laughs> tears of a clown. <laughs>